<laughs> noises, things. Oh, uh, Hello, Mandalorian. That's the one. Uh-huh. Not Gotham Knights. Not Last of Us. That's dead now. That's old oh, no. news. It's been several week. Yeah, that's probably about right. And it's uh, <laughs> time to talk more about... You, you guys saw The Mandalorian Episode 1, and then 2, and now it's time for 3. The only difference with this mm-hmm. one is that I've seen it, and these four losers have not. And my nope. goodness, am I curious what you guys are going to think of this one. Holy medallium, really? this is not like the first two. Not at all. Oh, and it's okay. Gotten, okay. It's gotten the episode in trouble uh, big time, Ooh. and I, I'm curious what we will think about it. So it might be it good. So that's, that's, oh. That seems to be the way that it goes. If it's a controversial one, it's like, oh, have they actually like tried to tell a story this time? <laughs> well, that's the thing. People, I have opinions, like but I'm going to try and avoid... The only opinion I want to share right now is that several, several people... Did the clowning of, wow, you thought the Mando man was eaten by a, uh, no, sorry, that he fell, you losers, he was eaten by a fish, we saw the fish, and even if that wasn't the fish that grabbed him, it would have been a different fish, it was a fish, he got eaten by a fish, losers. Oh, that's um, way more respectable. It gets confirmed, Definitely. like, three times in this episode that he slipped and fell, it is not a fish. <laughs> well, I don't, I'll, I mean, that I'll push back the most on that, Jack, I think it's more respectable to have a monster uh, pull you under the water yeah. than you slipping. Absolutely! Well, here's, the thing. <laughs> here's the thing, I don't need them to confirm that because I have eyes I mean, and that's, I saw it happen. I, I would have argued heavily that there's no indication it was a fucking fish. There's no displacement yeah. of water except for him going... And I'm look, sorry, look. you're telling me the giant fucking mythosaur did it? No. And then there's nothing else in there. And even if it was a tiny fish... Well, uh, there's so many other questions that come with it. Anyway, it's fine. It he pulled... fell. He slipped. He fell. He slipped in the bath. He fell. <laughs> he He's bottom. a loser. That's as far as we need to go with it. We may as well get on with it. This there is an there is a Mando episode in this episode, but there's a different episode of. That's why it's an hour long. There's two episodes in here. One is Mando. One is something else. Oh. oh. Okay. okay. Oh God. Yeah, it is long. That's um, fine. Cool. I will say this is very reminiscent of the Last of Us episode three. So that'll get oh, you. Okay. Okay. And I don't now. mean it's a big <laughs> gay story. No, I don't mean. Freeze. No, this is Dr. Pershing. Wow, oh we're God. flashing back all the way to this. Look, Dr. Oh, Pershing. That, that, Dr. Pershing, who was probably guy. the only thing approaching an actual character in the first season. I remember you saying that back when we looked at it. Look, that's Pearson oh, yeah. who works for uh, Evil Gideon. This is gonna be, so this is going to be an important episode then, if we're flashing back um, this far, right? Well, it'll be up to you, I suppose. Or up to us. We'll figure it out. Because it seems like they're trying to re-establish a plot thread. That's the read of whenever you have something that is really old that gets flashed back to mm-hmm. a news. Since the inception of Previously Ons, they have spoiled episodes. Well, they do. Yeah. <laughs> like, they never first actually the first season, yeah. The only one who remembers show you information it. that's going to be relevant. Remember this character uh, you thought was God? He you're like, oh, he fell. He, he just a fell. Dive. He fell. And fell he's a loser. Why did the mythic school grab him and then not eat him? He's just that's like, I'm going to grab bullshit. you and put you down here. <laughs> yeah, yeah just, they just didn't want they fell. They didn't want the cool Mandalorian man to have slipped in the bathtub. That's all. It's like a, it's like a crocodile that drags his prey in and just to wake up in response to them. It didn't need to like know they were there. Yeah, exactly. The mythic like, hey guys, what are This is my little prankster. Broke like, and the show robot the and the like how the longer it, the longer it gone on, the more they put their characters in. Yeah. And <laughs> Remember R2 Look at our though. shitty characters. It used to be like C three PO R two D two. Now it's like the blacksmith lady. I like that. He's She's totally like, did you fall? Just, like, <laughs> he's he's just pre- sitting there like, wow, he the, fell. Oh my god. He's, she's like, supposed something to perform, grabbed you, right? She's supposed to perform CPR and she just does it. <laughs> and he's just dead. Can't no, take his helmet off. Like, <laughs> can't take his helmet off. Well, then again, he could just put it back on and go back in the water. It'll be fine. Just oh my don't god, slip. you're right. How do you yeah, do the Heimlich maneuver? This is the one place CPR he can break as many of the mana rules as he wants and just go back in <laughs> yeah, the water. Yeah, nobody will know. Just go back in the water. What if exactly. you carry a tub of the water whenever you want to take your mask off? Yeah. Dude, Davy Jones, dead man's chest. If you, if, you, if you mix the water in another lake, how much, what is the concentration level of the sacred waters in normal waters before it becomes <laughs> sacred? Oh, Daniel's good left. job! Oh Wait, but that is just, just water. It's, now I can well, break the rules whenever water, I right? want. Is it actually is it magic, magic water? If it's magic water, why wouldn't the Empire want it? It's symbolic. I, surely. I don't know. It's just symbolic. Well, just because right? it's magic doesn't mean it's useful, right? Maybe it's it symbolic, be... but also what, useless magic. By, like, some <laughs> Maybe it turns your skin water, like yeah. I don't know. Fucking useless magic. You see anything down there? I saw the chasm passing me as I fell. I didn't realize it was so deep. Did you see anything alive? Like what? Nothing. 
Okay. I mean, I guess so she doesn't want to tell him because she thinks she might have saw stuff and she's going nuts. Because, because the mythosaur can't be real in the Star Wars universe with well, all the... of these crazy creatures and magic and everything. I mean, they're supposed yeah, that to be would extinct, be apparently, but there's not going to be a huge oh, amount right. of room down there, is there? Or maybe it opens up into an enormous cavern or something. Mythosaur. Maybe it does. Like, you know, yeah, what does it eat? Creature. It could, I don't know. It eats, it's like all um... these big critters on Tatooine. Like, what do these things eat to stay alive in these barren wastelands? It is not like a physical, like it eats honor or something like that. Oh, God, it might actually be that stupid. That's like, that's got Filoni written all over it. Yeah. Bring me to my ship and I'll be on my way. I would invite you in for a feast, but I'm guessing that helmet isn't coming off again. Why isn't her sure. helmet off? Because, um... Hey, look, I right, I'm, I, I'm still, I'm partial to characters keeping their helmets oh, no. on, all right? Well, it's With not Mando, it's a little bit excessive. Oh, yeah, she okay. often does take it off. Oh, just random oh, ship Oh, suddenly, battle. yeah, <laughs> why, why are they suddenly Empire? Jeez, are you guys gonna be able to survive this with five of the Interceptors, like, shooting at you, together, with no other targets? And the also, it's like, quite a big ship, too. Our shields aren't gonna hold. I need you to back them off. Why haven't they got them yet? That's a lot of TIE Fighters. And they're Interceptors. Because TIE Fighters get shit, because they're Stormtroopers. I've scuffed off a lot of Imperial Warlords. You tend to get mad when you hijack their ships. They're after her Hello, because Hello. she stole this ship from the Empire, apparently. It's like, you've been living Hi. here forever. If they know where you are, why haven't they only... Why are they now? Well, she stole the ship, so they waited until she was in the ship so they could blow her up in the ship that she stole. But I guess they don't really want back. It's just a principal thing. Interceptors are a lot tougher than TIE Fighters. I thought Interceptors were the super fast ones. The, I thought the, Interceptors... Like the glass cannon ones. Yeah, I thought Interceptors were... Yeah, exactly. I thought that from the games, though. I don't know if that's yeah. true from the movies. I don't know. Go, Mando, go! Oh wow, they really go. Like, do they know you did this? That piece, it's like, oh wow, it is true. That's number two. Hey, they did the tune the second time already. Woohoo! You think you think that Tie Fighter or Tie Interceptor pilots would be like really good? No. I don't know. Like, how do you miss like everything? You know? They literally never hit a shot because <laughs> they fucking stormtroopers, my dude. Oh, oh we're doing this way. again. But you you're literally flying right at him, and he misses everything, but you don't, of course. Yay! So you hit him with a single like torpedo. Yep, that's it. Instead done, of your done. blasters? Time for that the rest stupid. of the cool action scene. I mean, it's a good thing that the TIE Interceptors are worthless and can't hit I mean. fucking anything. The only variables you have to take care of in a scene like this is why are they not hitting you and how are you hitting them? And that's the one thing they don't take care of. So what is this worth? It looks good. Oh, jeez. Oh, he just flew into yeah, the... Yeah, of course he oh, did. The the fucking stormtroopers, that's all they do. But they crashed and her ship's way bigger. Exactly. Like, in many yeah, ways, but... a, mountain, a mountain is like the land's asteroid field. Um, yeah, pretty much. That's what I mean. This is this is a stand-in for something awesome, right? He's like, oh, I guess this is awesome. And obviously, if the TIE Interceptors didn't think that they were good enough, mm -hmm. they would just fly up Ragfish. higher and then follow them. Remember, we went from space down to here. The, the amount of music. Yeah, there it is. That's number three. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's number three. <laughs> is Dude, this action scene gonna have anything to do with the story of the? No. We need to, uh, we need to have a bloodle count. Uh, no, this, this right. seriously is an action scene that's disposable. Once it's in and out, it'll be gone. That's good for marketing material, though. Throw these well, in the trailer is, and people get hyped. To be fair. How is Mando so good at flying a t uh, like a, a starfighter? He's had plenty of practice. Like, how is why is that ranks. a why is that a skill that he? Where did he pick well, up this and, skill? Well, and you know, are the skills transferable? Like, just because you're good with one starfighter, does that mean you're good with another okay, one? Oh, okay, wow. fuck off. How <laughs> yeah, did that well, not just why, jerk you around inside the why ship? Why do you need skill at all? They don't hit you. They never hit you. Why do you, yeah. like, flap maneuvering on a spaceship? Oh, the formula is so fucking old like with, with the way they do yep, even, like, because we've already action got action scene. scene number one. I well, hope the Baby Yoda doesn't have a concussion inside that crib from that I hope incredible maneuver spinning around instantly. But isn't this, like, everything is normal? This is exactly what you'd expect from a Mando episode so far. Just shields. It's fine. They'll recharge. It'll be like Not this scratch, never happened. Mando is incredible. Undefeatable, unstoppable. And I want you guys to And know he never that misses. Several people's sort of takes on this episode is, wow, it started really good. Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> I'm seeing something on the scope. Uh oh, they destroyed the castle. Oh no, oh, the no. oil field. Like the purge, like her originally. My, that was my favorite no. throne to sit on. No, not the I kind of find this hilarious. The Empire, were like, this woman stole one of our ships. Go bomb her house. <laughs> Yo, like, okay. that's based. That's is the Empire in a position to do things like this right now, though? As, if they barely if exist. We could tell the difference. Remember, they were, <laughs> we said this in the previous seasons. We were just like, the Empire just seemed fine. Gideon is in yeah. like space prison right now, but they're still fine. 
go get and those bombers. And where's the new Republic? Bo-Katan. What are they doing? Oh, like, there you why go. the new One Republic down. not involved in oh, any of this? Oh, no flares, no countermeasures. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. It's like go. aliens. Bo, we've got company. Bo, listen to me. I will say, I really He's like being... the shots of like the camera mounted on the uh the ship. They look, it look cool. It looks good. Yeah, I that's would neat. always concede this all looked good. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. For yeah, some reason, have some pretty strong resources. Oh, just kill them for Christ's sake. Yeah, just shoot them. Just kill them. I mean, there's only like Look 20 of them. They should be able to kill <laughs> Look them without a problem. Look at how many there are. Wow. Considering the all entire the... scene, they probably missed about a thousand blaster shots. Can you remember all those loser rebel pilots in the original trilogy who got killed by these guys? Yeah. How shit were they? <laughs> wow. So how could many you possibly of them? die? Not fair. They're still, they're just still going it's to not still fair. Fair. Yeah. Okay, bye. Wow, All right. Guys, have you ever have you ever That's thought that four. we like suck as an army? Well, so, you know, that, that was that was half the Mando episode. You'll come back to that later. Uh, oh, I want to. oh, Coruscant! Yay! Yes. I remember oh, Coruscant. We're back I le- here. legit when I when I watched Christ. this, I was like, wait, we're good. At, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hooray! We're here. That looks neat. Little ball, like little ball place. being held up. There are many of us who had no choice in working for the Empire. Now the New Republic has given us a second chance. Isn't this already like, wait, so what? Are they, like, are they doing something here? I it looks like they're doing something. Sadly, my research was twisted into something cruel and inhumane at the behest of a desperate individual intent on using cloning technology to secure more power for himself. Now that would be Gideon, right? I presume. But we also presume past, the work will eventually to lead to snow. Or, yeah, or that. that. Oh, and that. When I was young, I lost my mother. Had simple organ cloning been available, her death would have been easily preventable. It was then that I vowed to make it my life's work. So you know how you say, but this is like the only character in the, in the series, yeah. Rex? <laughs> like, yeah, like, he was the only thing approaching a character in the first they've episode. They've given him even. more character. Because he was, like, worried about Baby Yoda the first time Mando shows up and the compound and everything. Yeah, we find out his intentions are pure and that it was motivated by a loss of a family member. And that this That's cloning something. tech was being yeah. used in the world and yeah. he's got a public amnesty in Coruscant. It's like, whoa, we just did loads compared to normal in a couple of minutes. Woman, what is because on your head? Even that amount of world building of uh, people who were in the Empire were given opportunities to integrate into the New Republic. Yeah. It's just nice to have that information so that we know what that transition looked like. You know, I was almost drafted. Imagine me serving. Empire, Rebels, New Republic, I can't keep track. So glad you're working for us now. Thank you. I find it likely that I guess you could get both the higher up rich people who actually do be like, Republic is way better than the Empire, or I never even noticed, I just want to get on with my life sort of thing. Mm. Yeah, in this topsy-turvy world, yeah, just go along with your own life, you know, just try to make the most of it. I see you're going to Amnesty Housing. Ah, crispy critters. No. (laughs) This was the point where I was like, what the fuck is going on? Who wrote this? Like, this is not Mandalorian. It's like Andor, it's Diet Andor right now. Yeah, this could Um, have been an episode in Andor. But like, it has like some characters talking about things that might be consequential and... They're doing the meme. Like, we're watching him go home. We've brought this up. We brought it up last episode, uh, first episode. We're uh, talking about some uh, Rodian. I think I called him a Rodan actually by accident. But point is, we said, let's follow that guy home. We're following this guy home. This is something this world desperately needs. We just need to see some, like, people, people in it. Yeah. people. Just some normal people. Hey, join us for a drink. Amnesty Officer M34. Amnesty Scientist L52. Do they have names like that Depends to prevent people from knowing of... more about their pasts? Maybe. Maybe you can't track their names and... Wouldn't it be normal to is have just names, though, instead of, like, L52? Or give them, like, new names, you yeah. know, yeah. if that's the goal. G27. Because man, it is harder to learn those, I think, than just Sean. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Doctor. Ah. Oh, is that a bad woman? He's it's a the lady Gideon from the woman. flashback. Oh, she was there as well. Moff she went Gideon's to the ship. presentation. I didn't expect to see anyone from Moff Gideon's ship here. I didn't know you worked for him. I try not to think about him anymore. Thanks to the rehabilitation program, I can contribute to the New Republic. He looks like a mix between like Arnold Schwarzenegger and like Qui-Gon Jinn. Liam Neeson. Here, have some time. quite the compliment. Long live the New Republic. Long, Long live, live the, the New, New Republic. Republic. New Republic. Yeah, and the losers guzzle. that got wiped out by the First Order easily. Oh well, yeah, up. it does get awkward when you realize that it's all moving towards yeah. just piss. It would be Them so annoying to, to <laughs> world build just all of this bullshit. You have to b- build up Hosnian Prime as basically everything that the good guys have. Yeah, and then mm. the good guys lose in an afternoon because they don't do anything. There are more of us here than I expected. Yeah, that surprised me at first too. Wow, we're having like actual conversations Isn't this now. 
unbelievable. Okay. No. I, for Mando, yeah. I've been, no, I'm, we've not. been tricked. This is not Mando. This you isn't Mando. This is a different you, TV you can, show. You, you edited this together from something else, and you're like, ha ha, Door. look at those funny guys. They're just thinking this is Mando. Uniforms did fit better. I do miss the lights of hyperspace. <laughs> mm. Ain't that a neat the casual thing? They like the bad guy uniforms miss? are better, though. What do you miss, L52? I'm glad that the Empire is. Oh, not like that. I mean, more like the everyday stuff, like the food. Oh, we were soulless creatures in the before times. We didn't eat or sleep or... You know what I mean? I guess... These are things I feel like we've asked for before. Maybe those, uh, yellow travel biscuits from the <laughs> Russian past. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about space MREs. Oh my god. Yeah. If I never see another ration pack in my life, I'll die happy. If I want something dry, I'll just listen to your joke. Mm. <laughs> what is happening? It's, yeah, it's, it's like a vibe of... There's you know, another scene with about... this guy. It's like, what's it's going bizarre. on? It's <laughs> bizarre. Where's my helmet man shooting people? Coruscant is one of only a handful of city planets known as an ecumenopolis. Oh, you can't spell ecumenopolis without cum. Nice. It's not precisely Oh no, it's glass onion. No, no, oh, where's... There. there's a puzzle in there. <laughs> where's Steve from Minecraft when you need him? Oh, it's the ration pack, the travel biscuits. There's so many of them, it just says like, I didn't like them that much. <laughs> oh, is this like the building? Now we're going to his world. Is this similar. like the building? It very similar. Oh, yeah, it's kind of actually, space. yeah, it is. This is it officially is an Andor episode. <laughs> Fun vibes. Yeah. It felt like the intro to a Mario Party game. Yeah, I was just thinking like Fall Guys, but yeah. Look, they got space ice cream. You could have just given them, they could have just had regular <laughs> ice cream. You didn't need to make it glowy. Yeah. <gasps> space magic! Oh my god! Oh, it's one of them spitting lizards Targaryen from... or uh, something. Oh, look, a robot. Oh look, he looks friendly. He looks great. Look at him. He's having. He's, he's living the. Struggling. He's living the dream. <laughs> On his little stilts. You've been a Coruscant before. I trained here at the academy. We thought we were doing good. I do think about that sometimes. All of my research going unfinished. Why not continue your research here? The ethics of cloning are complicated. That feels like something they'd have to explain because yeah. Cloning. Cloning organs shouldn't have any ethical issues at all. I mean, if they, because uh, I don't think the. Sort of TV shows or movies have really done anything to explain what happened to the clones. Clone Wars show, I think, did. No idea. It was kind of a thing that we skipped over. It's yeah, just like eventually they, they, they probably... got phased out for regular, you know, people. That is the peak of Umate, the highest mountain on Coruscant. That's really cool. Wait, what is that? That's the highest. That's the peak of on Coruscant. That's the... yeah, that's oh, right. oh, yeah, that's really cool, actually. Oh. That's fine. That's I, actually, up so I really high. like that. I That's like really that cool. The Viking music is an actual Star Wars soundtrack, but like played in. You want to touch it? Are we allowed to? How many people can say they touched Coruscant? Touching other planets is actually, actually pretty yeah, simple. Yeah, actually but... touched Coruscant. That's interesting. <laughs> Please refrain from physical contact with Umay. So Ume. sorry. <laughs> no littering. <laughs> no littering. Okay, that's, that's, that's fun. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> well, robots so done with these people. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, everyone trying to touch the fucking mountain. We're still with him. Good. Let's stay with him. So, like, like in the timeline, how many years until all these people are wiped out in an afternoon? I don't uh... know. Do you still find your current housing situation comfortable? Yes. It's cool. This you would be look... a part of the amnesty program. Like, go check in. No. You could look less fucking creepy. That'd be helpful, I guess. If I were to pursue my own research, would that be allowed? Your previous research involved cloning and genetic engineering. That class of research is expressly prohibited by the Coruscant Accords. Which Section seems strange, you know? Is it because of the clones and the Clone Wars? I guess we're or... not necessarily entitled to knowing why. It just seems it odd. It feels like something that we should be exploring. I would very much like to know, though. I, I get the idea that they'd be against cloning people. Well, I wonder but if the problem organs? that they have with the ethics of cloning is the nature of, like, cloning a person and then taking their organs, you know? Well, like, like you have yeah. to they, they, they're clone a, the organs. Especially if they end up being like a full-on person as opposed to just... Yeah, exactly. And We don't I want guess, a Star Wars version of the, the island. Only, mm -hmm. I guess that's the thing. If that's the only thing that exists now and he wants to get to the point where you can get past that step, what means does he have really to like set that into motion? My research 
in the hands of the new republic, it can actually be used for good. I just need to prove it. Are there official channels that he can uh, go through? Because he gave a big speech and everything. Or he should be campaigning I mean, for it to be legalized, how? right? That should be his next step. Yeah, like, uh, let's put up some bulletins on started. the street lamps some and call our congressman. What do you need? Some supplies, a mobile lab station. We can get you a mobile lab station, but it would require going outside our designated perimeter. If they found out, we'd both be sent back to the Reintegration Institute. But if your research really is as important as you say, I'll take that risk. Can't wait for this all to be ruined. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it, it's so funny to me that if, if Mando were to appear, I see him as a cloud, like an actual, like, yeah. just get yeah. out of here. You're from a version of Star Wars that I cannot take seriously, and this show is desperately trying to drag this universe kicking and screaming into something believable. Well, something that I find interesting about all of this is I get the impression that she's going to lure him out of basically somewhere that's safe and mm -hmm. then, you know, essentially force him to do his research for what remains of the Empire. That's my guess. But this uh, equipment I'm archiving, it's all coded to be destroyed. It's Imperial technology. But they can still be put to good use. I just think I could be helpful if I could. It would require authorization from the department. All right, so it's bureaucracy is really getting in the yeah, way. Yeah, that red tape. Not easy. I assure you, this is truly helping the new republic. Right, that's the problem he's having is he can't, like, doing this kind of work, he can't really see what yeah, the good yeah. is. He's got a passion and knowledge for something that he does think and can this actually probably help. Is helping. This probably is helping, but just not in a way that's very uh, apparent. I mean, we got our building blocks for a story. We yep. kind of do. Yeah. That's weird. What? What's that? That happened. Have you experienced any feelings of anger or resentment towards your coworkers? Yeah, I find that question no. so interesting that they would ask. Are you angry at your coworkers mm. for whatever reason? You know. Yeah, that's a really good question to ask because if you were like a stormtrooper out there shooting people. You know, people might think of you differently than just somebody who is a mechanic on some, you know, battery station. He's nervous, doing the ear thing again. Our main objective is to help the Republic. Correct. And that supersedes everything else? It does. I'm just, I'm actually interested in what this is leading to. Yeah. No, that's a mistake, Rags. Oh, <laughs> yes. Go back, go back to puke. Go back to Bando falling in the water. The mobile lab station? Let's go get it. Good. Tomorrow night? This is my sleuthing jacket. Ooh. Relax. Just follow my lead. <laughs> you look at a funny. I'm spooky alien bear. It's definitely given me sort of prequel vibes in the good way. Of we're just kind of yeah, having yeah. just places and people and stuff and prequel aliens. World and... Building. Prequel world building is a compliment. Well, this and it doesn't feel bigger. like a cheap ass Tatooine ripoff. So, you know, I'm oh, open to it. Oh, fuck. Am I right? Just, ugh. Tatooine, go away. I like his outfit. I like her outfit. I like the floor. I also feel like that this feels like a real public transport place, but not yeah. actually a real one. Like, I guess that was a Star Wars equivalent of like jumping over the little turnstile. Yeah. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, <laughs> look, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> he's so happy. He's just he's happy like to a, be here. He's like a Yeti kind of guy. Star Wars headphones. <laughs> yeah. Those goggles don't think they're going to cover gonna say, his they eyes. They don't look like they'd fit him. Yeah. No way they'd fit him, would they? <laughs> maybe it's just, uh, maybe it's just an aesthetic, you know? It just makes me happy. Yeah. Mando fans must have been panicking at this point. Like, There's not he? a blaster or dark saber anywhere. We I haven't had a fight scene in like 20 minutes. Isn't that crazy? I assume they're gonna cut back to Mando soon. <laughs> it's like, no! Where are we going? The disposal yards. Have you done this before? Where do you think I got the biscuits? Hey, dude. <laughs> that's, that's the third time he said hi to them, but they won't respond. He's like, yeah. okay. Like, yeah, I tried my best to be, the therapist said to be social. <laughs> no, there's no sad story here. He's just happy. <laughs> yeah, he's... <laughs> I like that contrast of sort of the look of these areas. Yeah, mm. the, you know, even though it's paced like a show, not yeah, like it is. A I was hyperactive about to baby. Say, we are uh, we're taking our time. We got a lot of just you know quiet oh, moments. Oh no, tickets! Tickets, please! <laughs> oh, why is the ticket droid so jacked? <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't reference that show anymore. It's evil. Follow me. Bye, dude. <laughs> See you, buddy. <laughs> Oh, like, wow. Peasants, what the fuck? Oh, he's angry. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Days. Am I right? 
You could just have normal, you could just have Tuesday. You don't need Twong Day. It's gotta be a space version of that. Don't worry, I can believe Tuesday is in Star Wars. Oh, that's cheating. That's not fair. I'm not supposed to exchange carts while the train is in motion. <laughs> Jeez, he's coming. He's like he a Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> He really wants those tickets. Very curious about your <laughs> tickets. <laughs> For some reason, there's just something in my programming that it makes this a little suspicious. This counts as an action scene. <laughs> this is tense. Oh, though. I mean, there I guess is, it's there is yeah, tense. Because, yeah, that's right. Because they might get caught. There might be consequences. Oh, I don't to think you're gonna this. make that jump. It's a bit far away. It's the end of the train. Allegedly. Mando dialogue. Finally. We're gonna jump. What? Trust me. Okay. I don't trust you. I don't think I that'd don't. be enough for me. I'd be like, where, how, we just die. I mean, I know the ticket man is scary, but God. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, you're going fast. Oh, that's no good. Oh, nope. nah. No. You're going real fast. No. I'm afraid momentum doesn't work that way. <laughs> no. no. I don't believe not it for all. a second. Listen, they get oh. one point for landing on something soft, but that's that's not yeah. enough. Yeah, that's no and good. And then the ticket man gets to the end, and it's like, oh no, I just wanted yeah. to ask about your tickets. <laughs> I wonder why they ran all the way through the train and jumped off. And I wonder oh, well. if that would get reported by a robot. Maybe it... This is Coruscant. There are a lot of people here, you know? Like, I wonder maybe what it looks only if like they were like violent that. or something. But maybe a couple people getting a... Oh, wow. Well, that's yeah, because there's no reason oh, to believe that they're like a shipyard. Oh, hey, it's tech. a shipyard. Yay. Cool? Yeah. Breaking down, uh, yeah. There's a all reason the old stuff. this stuff is here. There's a reason they're going here. The last time mm -hmm. I saw a whole bunch of Star Destroyers, I cringed and almost it was, died. <laughs> it was like the last few episodes we were talking about why don't they repurpose old tech? And they're literally yep. repurposing old tech. We're still with this cat. Yes. Yeah, and that makes me happy because we're it's, we're watching a story unfold for once. Mm -hmm. Why did they like suddenly decide to make it good? <laughs> That's what I'm there curious about. Maybe something. it'll become clear at the end of the episode. I swear to God, if people online say this, this is a boring episode, we're gonna kill. Oh, everybody. I mean, I can believe that people say that because <laughs> Mando's not in it. We haven't had any action scenes. We haven't had shitty action scenes. That's right. Oh, this is giving me vibes of uh, the issue more from Dead Space 2 for some reason. Well, it'd be interesting I mean, to walk around a decommissioned Imperial ship, especially whole, one that's in the midst of scavenging, you know? Make a whole show scavenging. out of that, couldn't you? Imagine a series of prisoners that, like, get a Star Destroyer and break it out of, you know... Oh, and what if they do, like, weapons gun running, like we talked about in the, uh... In the, the way, previous episode. For anybody who's seen it, it's basically Farscape but Star Wars, because that's the premise of that, is a bunch of prisoners escape of the ship. Oh, I'd be interested in seeing, like, if they were scrap salvaging anything that they, like, picked up that was more, uh, exotic, and then finding ways to sell it, make some money on the side. Yeah. I mean, if we had an episode where oh, there were Imperial so cool. loyalists, like, sneaking around, trying to take Imperial stuff and yeah. get it back in working order and do, like, terrorist missions. That could be interesting. I just want that one payoff where across, like, a few seasons of following these, like, smaller characters and stuff, we find out that the transition from Empire to Republic happened, but it never affected their lives at all. That would be, yeah. Because yeah. mm. for some people, it just wouldn't matter. Hey, little bug! Do you think that on Coruscant, you just occasionally find those guys in, like, your house? Those the little bugs? bugs? Well, there's okay. more little bugs Probably. there. Probably. Oh, what if they, like, eat electricity or something? That's why they glow. They look like kind of techno bugs. And that's the kind of Star Wars stuff I'd believe. Like, yeah, these are just bugs that eat electricity. Electrical currents, like, Sorry, charge their bodies with energy. Well, because well, that's you don't... actual energy. That's, like, energy. Rather yeah, than it's... You don't have, like, honor or it's... whatever. If you don't believe the one that... <laughs> the, the no, no. That needs there are bugs that eat honor, but... They're on Mandalore. I must have passed you on Gideon's ship a hundred times. Sorry I never introduced myself. Eli Kane. Dr. Penn Pershing. Is everything you need here? I mean, I don't this know. It's perfect. been three seconds. I remember the first time I was in a place like this. I couldn't believe I'd made it. I like how he's starting to get excited now that he's sort of in yeah. his element, yeah, the lab. You always knew what you wanted to do. As far back as I can remember. What about you? I didn't really have a chance to think about it. Curiously put her face in shadow when she... Mm. Mm. But that's the kind of shit that I just don't that? think you'd have in a normal Mando episode. Just no, settling. none of this feels normal. Keep packing. I'll keep watch just in case. I don't believe her. Yeah. I also don't believe her either. She's up to something. She's not, but she's not even a really a communications officer. I bet she's not even real. She's a hologram. Kind of neat touch. She didn't say run. She mm -hmm. was like, 
Run! They fly now! Stay <laughs> quiet! <laughs> Silence! Keep moving. Hmm, wouldn't it be interesting if she actually was setting him up to get captured and she changed her mind? Oh. No! Ah, oh, damn. Raise your hands, L-52. Uh, no. Oh no, betrayal. Good morning, doctor. I think there's been a mistake. But I wasn't trying to help you. This is a mind flare. It's a similar device, but we found at low voltages it can be used. We call it a mind tickler. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, jeez. This show just got... Uh, oh, light buzzing. oh yeah. man. Experience a yeah. great sense of oh my god, the Empire was right! You're gonna wipe my mind. Absolutely not. This isn't the Empire, son. She brought me there. It was a trap. I know this will help him. You are a real credit to this program. This should offer him some relief. Ah, uh, Marge is gonna turn it up. Do you mm. mind if I stay? Yeah, she's gonna turn it up. I still care about him. You're welcome to stay. This was really creepy is that he didn't have a chance to like explain himself mm -hmm. or like there was no like trial, you know, there was My no... My guess would be that they would treat it like, ah, oh, this happens all the time with like people who, you know, okay. just whatever, just fast track. Yeah, of course. But why though? Surely they'll know that she did this. Alarm oh, beeping, alarm beeping, it, yeah. yeah. If you like, I just I find I find that was that's it that's it that's the whole thing. And it's just like what what what, what happened? You, why did you do this to me? Why what, what is why this? is this? Why why did you thing? inject? Well, almost like you you built me up to knock me down. You know, yeah. like you showed me something that I found interesting, and now it's like ah, yep, yeah, back to good old is regular uh, scheduled Mando. That's the thing. <laughs> hey, look, we'll, we'll get back to Mando. We will. I just want to talk a bit about that for what it was because you've just. You've gotten all that in your heads now. So let's just, we, we could do that and then we'll do Mando later. We'll let him back into our lives in a moment. But so it's like, uh -huh. what's going on exactly? And it's like, well, there's a couple of things you could really build on that. It's like, is she, if you if you notice when he actually says to her that um, I want to do it, she says sleep on it. And then the following morning he says, I want to do it. Uh, she does not look happy. She's like, oh, mm. like, like, oh, you fucker, you had a chance. The better judgment of you didn't come through. And so like the impression from that expression makes me think that, she offered her chances, like the role of finding the the ones that are turning, sort of thing, and she can use that right. to climb. And I think Rags was spot on with the. Um, I don't think she sees a difference between the Republic and the Empire right now, and that it's she's just kind of just get up the ladder. That's who she is, thing. yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of work she does. This is she's trying to, yeah. This is for you know getting her career better. Maybe she doesn't. She doesn't just see anybody as anything else other than people to be used. Um, or exploited, or... Yeah, and it might be um, he doesn't get to have his fair trial, so to speak, because of the fact that he's already on probation, and he's just done something incredibly, like... Maybe, up. yeah. It, it might be... That's that's stretchy to me. The thing that I... Uh, Rags already pointed out, the big issue I have is that surely they'll know exactly who just did what just happened. Right, yeah. And that well, should get her in trouble, because she's torturing somebody. So, you know, what can I draw out of it character-wise? It seems like... You know, there could be so many different reasons for why she did that. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if we'll see her again. I don't know if we'll see him yeah. again. I don't know, because I don't know what the fuck's well, going on. I mean, I'm happy it is here, but I don't know why it is here. Well, it's it incredibly it's out of place from else. everything else that is Mando, but it's it's it's, it's an actual story. It's like it a TV show episode. Yeah, yeah somebody like, like um, somebody turkey based it essentially a story in the middle of this nasty Mando episode with nonsense bullshit. And it's a complete, if the, if it ended here, this would be a complete story, but one that's tragic, which right. is yeah. an interesting choice for them to take tonally for a Mando show, or really, I guess, sort of Star Wars in general now with the vibe they're going for. Because mm -hmm. um, Andor seems to be its own thing, yeah. doing its own thing, just oh, yeah. off there what in Star to, Wars uh, land. To Bix, right? That's it's kind of reminiscent of that, where you just watch someone get broken, and it's just like, damn. You know, and, and yeah. it's just a reality that they want to show you as part of this world. And like I said, I really like the track that uh, the Republic is like, we're not like the Empire. We do this for good reasons. This feels good. Mm -hmm. It's just like, yeah, these aren't these aren't evil pills. These are happy pills. Take them yeah, now, it's, please. It's healing device. Like, and just oh. uh, something I appreciated throughout all of it is the sort of impersonal nature of this uh, program. They don't really have names. They get checked up mm -hmm. on by droids instead of humans. And then, of course, like when things go wrong, it's really expeditious. And, and, and like him you know working in the office he obviously has ambitions and goals to do something else and it's just yeah, you know do this like well, too bad, cool. like it, it? trust too me bad. it's it's gonna 
it's it is doing good but you just you know just do this all right and then how all of that funnels into this character feeling a motivation to essentially go back to doing the thing that he was doing but for a good purpose hopefully and then mm. this uh really tragic ending of that uh ambition it's, it's so funny right what do we have working for him as a person from the previous two <laughs> seasons it's like well he worked for Gideon. he seems like he might be a good guy that's what rags was talking about when he said he's more of a character than anybody <laughs> <laughs> which is amazing right True, yeah. it's like what if do we just get at and... this and that it, yeah. information you get from this episode anyway he could have been brand new but they just worked with someone they had and it's like yeah he's got core cool motivation he's got the talents and skills to use it he was picked up or poached even by Gideon he, he was never a bad person he's just in the wrong places at the wrong time hence this episode and his life ends like that P presumably i don't know if he's gonna make it. i don't know if he's gonna get his yeah. mind wiped i don't know what um, happens to him exactly yeah i don't um, know um i hope i really don't want him to have a bad end because if you if you for some god knows reason go back and rewatch the mandalorian and if you pay attention to sort of how he acts and the things that he's concerned about how he tries to protect baby yoda even when he doesn't have a chance um the first time that mando when he goes to the compound in that third episode he, like he put himself in between mando and the the baby thinking that this guy was here to kill the baby and he he tried to stop it he was really concerned in the first episode about uh, the baby being returned dead he said you know it had to be returned alive and unharmed there's there's these little things that kind of actually make him a character that people probably have really forgotten about because he had such a small play in it i don't mean to be hyperbolic at all but is he not the best character in mando now Oh, easily. Oh, I think he was yeah. before. Yeah. In, a, in a way, he was before by kind of default, but there was actually something there. And now he is actually and easily the best, if not the only, character in Mando. And then the part that was, that wasn't necessarily the hyperbolic, but I wanted to introduce it that way, is the second best character, the girl. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she's interesting. I don't have full answers on exactly who she is, what she's doing. I, I have a couple of guesses and stuff, so I hope we get more of it. I can't, yeah. This, this I, is the fundamental I, I thing. People find this incredibly shit and boring. I'm like, this, oh, is, the most, knew it. this is the most interested I've ever been wants. in Mandalorian. <laughs> I want to see what happens Not to this me. guy. I want to see what happens to this chick. I don't even I want to see what happens. It's a concentrated story. I want to qualify yeah, well, with, like, I don't think it's great. It's a star. No, it's not as good as Andor. I think what what did Rags you said like it's it was... Diet Andor? Yeah, yeah. But I think that's boy, the way to describe it's... it because it's but it's Diet good. Andor. It's better than anything that I'm we've interested. seen in yeah. Mando in terms of like storytelling, pretty much uh, ever. Just imagine that there was like a season of Star Wars, a Star Wars show, and it was just a bunch of little episodes like this. Anthology series. You had yeah, like an yeah. anthology, ten yeah hour ish, forty five minute. I mean that Amazing. was that was what that was. 35 minutes? A half hour, yeah, seemed like it. So Great. if that's what you can do in a half an hour and you have 10 or 20 of these little anthology episodes that you release, and maybe sometimes the characters know each other and meet, most of the time it'll just be their own isolated things. But if it was all stuff like that, well, somebody didn't... man, what insane amount of world building we could get done. Someone I haven't checked. Or could all be, it could all be leading somewhere, right? You know, yeah, you well, like, imagine we come an back to him and her and... and... Because mm -hmm. people are obviously like saying like never do this again. I'm here like no no more more please. Yeah, <laughs> this is like the the prison stuff in Andor where it feels like its own sort of thing, but yeah. it's really good and it ultimately involves characters that we know kind of yeah. being there and getting out. Man, uh, the, uh, there's episode lead into the next. You know, we could the next one could be not the same characters or storyline but i say you know i mean some kind of like ethics officer investigating well doing the 22 short and, stories of uh, like a, springfield yeah an, an attorney attorney who works for the new republic trying to argue that this kind of stuff isn't okay and that's the next short story and then I mean, the every short story leads on to something else if the end of every anthology episode ended with the characters from the next one being sort of quote-unquote introduced in one where oh, even if it was just Springfield. someone someone sits down like like maybe there's like a a heist where they steal something and as they're getting away they just sit down on a piece of public transportation and make their escape and the next episode begins with oh the person that was just sitting next to them now it's their story now we follow them for oh, an episode so cool. we get to and they, follow, we get and to they have to go happy visit guy. Yes. yeah they, <laughs> big happy guy right big happy guy's going back to his planet where they have some sort of an issue, and then we get an episode with him, and then oh, you can't. It, you, it, you it, find out he doesn't talk to Lex. Uh, 
is like his his wife recently passed away and he's been trying to find a way to move forward and uh and rediscover happiness and he's trying different things from like different joining different social groups finding different hobbies trying different jobs to see what brings him fulfillment and then by the yeah, end of the episode he sort of realizes you, and, that he can grab that from within while latching onto the memories of his beloved wife and then you know you move on to the next episode with the a yeah, new character he, and their own personal tribulations. You can, you can even just not have him talk because he just does like the yeah. grunting yeah. and everything. Yep. And just, yeah, you can actually get experimental, get well, yeah. experimental the, in the delivery of story. Maybe close off this pitch inspired by a certain episode of Buffy, which I don't need to go further than that. But Bring you will probably <laughs> know what I'm talking about. Um, maybe the last episode, at least the season finale, we're following a janitor who ends up you know losing his job. The Republic, so he goes maybe off the grid to use his skills ends up i'm trying to think of how we end up with a janitor on a empire related ship something oh yeah he searches for a job like that and then you know halfway oh, through like get gets a pretty pretty much but get to know he's like an alien though and you get to know him well enough and then you know the stormtroopers doing their thing and and gideon walks past they're having conversations that are like intelligible he's just there maybe listening to his fucking music or something and then you know mando some jedi some other people they all burst on the scene they're all killing everybody he's just hiding in like a closet because he's terrified oh, yeah. and then you know once it's all over it's just death everywhere and they're gone and he's just like what? you know and the corpses like, everywhere and somewhere been... someone hands him a mop there has been this underlying <laughs> like need for this show to explore this concept of the Empire was like super security and the Republic was almost, it, it was like in the other direction, right? The Republic kind of fell apart because it was not really structured. And then they went from that to, you know, the, the sort of opposite. So the galaxy almost in a way got a taste of both sides. And there are people who support both of those sides. And we never really explored the, the you know, the, the elements of the people who lived in there and stuff. And it's, it's something that we've been wanting for years. You now, can you give us a sympathetic story about just some stormtroopers here, just people doing yeah, their jobs? Still, the reason why Andor stuff. was so uh, interesting is that we get to explore the perspectives of, relatively speaking, pretty normal people. Yes. When in the Star exactly. Wars world, we are very focused on the most important people ever. Getting the yeah. perspectives of pretty normal people with different principles and different means of navigating this world. Just having that is interesting. And it's like, we kind of got that again here. And well, even so if it doesn't lead anywhere, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that as a story. But if we could get more of that just wedged into this otherwise garbage show, that yeah. would be swell. Well, and so I want to try and bridge the gap a little bit with the people who can't stand this episode. I want to be like, if if I were in the offices of them making this and they said, this is Mando episode three, I'd be like, what are you doing? It's not a Mandalorian episode. And then they'd be like, well, yeah. that's fine. It's good, right? And I'd be like... Look, as much as I can call it good, what do you expect's going to happen when you do this? Like, mm -hmm. this should be its own show. This should be a, yeah, a side story and it's its own TV show. Or it should fuck it? I think it makes make more it sense a to, Disney short. I'd throw this into the Andor selection that I would before. I know, Brando. right? So yeah, it makes this, way more sense this in isn't... there. Exactly. It wouldn't be the strongest episode of Andor at all, but like it would belong. I just don't know what they were thinking with this, like because we're about to get back to the Mando shit. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> well, and especially placing it because you think about like what people probably want from Mando. You've just gone to Mandalore, you've just had the Mythosaur and all of that stuff to then pivot to a story that seemingly has nothing to do with any of that right now. Yeah, it probably wasn't the smartest place to put it in terms of garnering a positive reception. That's at what the same I, yeah. time, I guess you would appreciate... You would just hope that an audience would be able to look at it and go, even though I can't see where it's leading to yet... I can appreciate it for what it was. What did it achieve? What it was did it do? Yeah, and it, it's got plenty of character, world building, and it's, it's it's more substantive than anything we've seen in Mando before. But yeah. you were right, as you said, there's no action scenes, so there's That's no. Right. And 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 people, I know, because even I would say this, like Mando wasn't even in it, and you'd be like, "Well, is that a problem?" It's just like I I don't know. It just what do you expect's gonna happen? You, in a way, I'm kind of annoyed because it's like you've kneecapped this story already by putting it here. And I would That's hope true. that they don't look at the response and go, well, let's not try that again. Exactly. <laughs> that would be lame. Yeah, you're taking a, it's like if you make a, a if you, a, you've made a steak and it's a, a yummy, delicious steak and you threw it into like the elephant pen. I suppose. <laughs> that is a good analogy. I just think it's, uh, it's, it, I'm happy to call it good. I really am. I just, uh, I do, I don't think strategy wise, this was the best plan. Yeah, because that's what I was, uh, what I meant. It's like, I, I mean, I, I like this, but I, I don't know where to put this in the Mando series. So, like, is this gonna follow up on something? Is this gonna well, make sense? Or they just randomly throw that yeah, in there for I don't want to, reasons? Uh, speculate too hard here. This could totally be tinfoil, but like, 
if you if they have a couple of these in the season, will that be mm. what was here to replace the chunks they took out and put into oh, Boba Fett? Oh, that's you might be right. You make up for the run because you lost a solid two episodes there. That's yeah, a good point actually. Yeah, that's so interesting. <laughs> that was funny. Fucking mess. <laughs> so legit. On my first run through this episode, when I saw him, I was like, no. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there's music as well. It's like, we're back, it's, baby. It's literally a meme. It's, like, um, it's a fucking meme at this point. It's like Time to wake up. Dog. Oh, this we're going back Peter to Bell. the Mandalorian group. No, yes, Blacksmith are. Lady. Remember, no. it's, dude, it's literally uh, completing the quest. You've got to go speak to her and you'll get your XP. What's crazy is that he's saying this is how we survived exile. It's like, why don't you just go to Coruscant and get a job? They still live by the old ways. It will go smoother if you keep your helmet on. Of course. Again. Oh, again, damn it! It's yep. ring, again, ring, yeah. ring, Pavlov's dog. Fucking sound effect. Sure, that. Very, are there, are there very any Mandalorians who are ever on lookout just in case, like people yeah, who are friendly show up? This oh, yeah, this, this guy. Is this is. Yeah. Do they have a signal or? Also, a I already want to talk about. Oh, says, hey, go away. He almost prevents their entry here. Okay, which I think is hilarious considering the first time he got here, no one stopped him from talking to her. Yeah. And he did save all of their lives from the giant crocodilus, so I think you should appreciate it. And also, he's bathed them the living waters, so you got nothing on him. He's got background. nothing now. <laughs> this background looks like shit. They just blurred it really mm. badly. Yeah, that didn't look right. People are losing. Hey guys, what's on. up? Let me through. I have the dark saber. I'm your leader. You Come you got the further. lime and burgundy armor? Jeez. Okay. Come no further. You are an apostate. Do you? They're like, you're not allowed in here. It's like, <laughs> come here yesterday. <laughs> Shut up. I have been to the mines of Mandalore. Impossible. Impossible. I for, uh, <laughs> Remember, to... they don't know either because everyone's stupid. How do we know that it is not you who is lying? I was witness. And who are you? I am Bo-Katan of Clan Kreese. She says Bo-Katan. So it has to be Bo-Katan then, no, right? No, most people say Bo-Katan. 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 Bo-Katan of House Kreese. Bo-Katan of Clan Kreese. I don't so fucking I mean, I get it. it you were both apostates. We have been to the living waters. Why are they all chatting now when he already said, oh, he said living, living waters. waters? Living waters, living waters. Oh, yeah, from the smile of. Shouldn't they be more blown away by the fact that they can go home? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like you can go you home to the planet. They should be like, because holy fuck, you mean there? I can take my starship that I have just over there right now and go home in five minutes? The thing you wanted to do your whole lives? That's not as interesting as Mando gets to go in here because he had a bath. Wait, so, but if we leave and go to Mandalore, then who will be eaten by the crocodiles? Oh, no, yeah. you're right. We should leave a few behind. <laughs> so how are they going to check if that's, like, the actual... Unfortunately, well, well, yeah, was right. Oh, it's, it is just next, because right? it's, it's magic it's water, right? It's literally magic water that does magical things. Oh, the blacksmith had that little uh, water thing, mm -hmm. like the pool of water in our little workshop. I bet they'll pour it in there and it'll be like... <laughs> magic. <laughs> Yeah. Well, why didn't they just say, yes, this has the compounds because of the da-da-da, which is on yeah. Mandalore. Well, you'd think that someone in Mandalore of... would have figured it out, what the actual compounds are. Well, you know what? We wouldn't be in this fucking mess if she didn't require that to get his order back yeah. or whatever. Anyone does she always blacksmith, or does she occasionally, like, do other things? Well, do you see how much of a waste all those flames are? She uses I one. was about to say that, too. <laughs> Jin Djarin claims to have bathed in the living waters. I have proof. I was witness. He fell into the depths, and I pulled him out. He fell. There oh, you didn't have to that. tell them that, dude. No, no, Why no, did no, you tell them that? The Mythosaur, <laughs> dude. <laughs> we, it was we a demon. It grabbed me. We would be great if they all started the laughing. Like, like, you oh, fell. So Bo-Katan said that she fell. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bo made a cannon. Oh, yes, it did. Oh, <laughs> it did a magic thing. I told thing. you. It's magic <laughs> water. He speaks the truth. These are indeed the living waters. Din Djarin, you are redeemed. Oh, okay. You are she's doomed again. She, she fell after me. Well, that's the thing, Mel. Technically, she's done all this required. And Bo-Katan Kreez, you too are redeemed. How fucking interesting is this? But I do not walk that changes away. everything. It really is just like dunking your... <laughs> just going just into takes some water and you, you get to be part of the club. And and don't take your helmet off. Me. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the reason why she didn't so remove the, her helmet. Yeah, yeah, that's why I highlighted it. Those are the only inexplicably. two rules. Those are the only two rules to be a part of a cool club. You may leave. <laughs> bathe in the water and don't take your helmet off. Until to be fair, he said when they were arriving oh, here, don't take it off because it'll make things less complicated, which I actually well, buy. That's but that. there's that's no that's reason fine. for her to keep it on the whole time earlier. This is the way. This is yeah, because she's she never has before. She always lounges around and flies around yeah. without it. Exactly. It was done for Maybe just 
knows good job. how to nice lie. Shoulder. Yeah, good job, buddy. Yeah, you did it. You went. Oh, water. he's not happy. Like, Boo, just weird you had a bath. Boo. You sold one of them, Bo. Maybe you should be oh, part of the him. way. There we go. We're done. Okay. okay. Thank okay. All right. Now, let's see who wrote this. Okay. Oh. So, Noah Claw, whoever you are? Noah Claw, <laughs> you probably, Noah right. Clore, you good probably job. wrote a good epic. We, we, know, we know it wasn't the other. We know it wasn't you, John. It's funny. It's like, oh, you're the guy to thank. Because we know thank it's not Noah. that guy. We so. know it was not. Oh, God. It's not, it not John Favreau. Favreau. It's, uh, John? It's unreal, isn't it? Like, it's such a weird fucking thing that just happened. Yeah. But, I mean, I liked it. I enjoyed yeah. watching. Mm. Not bad, though. That's what I enjoy. Yep. There's like half a good episode in every one of these episodes. It's going to be so awkward to like show people the series because it's like, yeah, mm -hmm. skip 20 minutes and then watch <laughs> half an hour. Well, yeah, we go from literally joyously picking apart, laughing and predicting to like silent investment. And oh. then back to hilarious <laughs> laugh and <laughs> just, picking apart. Yeah. Totally. They squeezed the story scene. in there. I, just, but yeah, I, I guess uh... I can understand that the placement was probably not just pragmatically. It probably wasn't the best choice if you wanted yeah. people to no, engage think... with it. I think it was an awful choice, and I think that you have like made it so that people... If you would start up a new show, the anthology thing that was suggested, or literally Dr. Pershing's own show, and this is the f pilot, or the finale, whatever you want. Uh, <laughs> I could have taken it so much more seriously. And other people would... But what is this doing in the middle of Mandalorian? And you might be like, no, 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 it's gonna make sense. It's gonna make sense. It's like, the, okay. I mean, I'm constantly gonna be disappointed we don't go back to that story with yeah. people that I care about, because I legitimately want to know what happens to Dr. Pershing and her, and... And like where that leads to, you know, does this essentially take him down? Does he become punished Pershing? And he's like, you know, I'll make them see or I've got to do something. I, I, you know, this is, you know, he's trying to do the right thing and he's being treated like this. So, you know, he, he turns into almost like this, this evil but means well doctor. Like that could be interesting. The point is there's like a story there. I just don't characters. know how, so like what we, if you remember episode three of The Last of Us, I'll remain as spoiler free as possible, but we talked for a while about everything it's going to mean to the main characters, and the main characters literally interact with the the area, and we have, they have a history with the characters. And then, of course, there's the mm. letters, so there's all this stuff. What does this have to do with Mando? And if Don't you say know. something like, well, he's going to meet her at the end of the season and shoot her with a blaster or something, I should be like, fuck's sake. That's the concern, isn't <laughs> it? That, that in, in the case of this show, when we're watching The Last of Us, we can see how this will be constructing a theme and in keeping with like the quality bar that was there, you know, in those early episodes even. There's like reason to believe that it's going to be meaningful, you know, well, long if you term. remember part of that letter, there was a quote of like, you know, damn any son of a bitch that comes between us and the ones we love or something like that in, in yeah. Frank's letter. After seeing the finale, maybe you could understand the point of that episode uh, better. Whether and or Bill's not. letter, you mean, right? Sorry, yeah. But this, like, I enjoyed this. Why did you do this? Yeah, you've, you've presented me with something really cool. And unfortunately, uh -huh. I don't have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of faith in this show. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, what else no, there is to say? Little... The Mando portions were embarrassing as usual. They were exactly what it's always been. The yep. Yep. portion Still bad. with fishing and this, uh, I don't, I don't know whether she's Empire. Because the thing is, she could very well be Empire affiliated and that she's just trying to rise up to get power I here. find it more interesting what you, Rags was talking about, that it's just she moves up the, the ladder. She doesn't really have any allegiance. Oh yeah, I thought we so went over that one. I'm saying that the other options yeah. are still there. It's just like, oh, sure, hopefully sure. we find out what they are. Yep, but I hope that we get more like storytelling throughout the season because I do like stories. I like yeah, them. Stories too. Find them. I like fan. places, people, events, ideas. Oh my goodness, we had plenty of that. Instead of Oh no, suddenly the Empire are chasing us. <laughs> Let us kill every single one of them in a crappy action scene. Why are they chasing you? Oh, well, because I stole one of their ships. Why are they bombing your home world? Why is this happening now? What is going on? It's just like action scene. Shut the fuck up. I just feel okay, bad for the droid um... that was in there with her. He's, he's oh fucked. no! We yeah. don't know what happened to the blue robot. I hope the okay. cool robot who we really yeah. liked. Damn, <sighs> you know. Yeah, we 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 peered Man, this into the was tiny little with tragedy, wasn't it? Universe. Yeah. Are they gonna remember okay. um the R four unit or whether or not? Uh, I don't know if that was an R four. Oh, whatever, the, the droid that was replacement for IG. Actually, keep him around. Yeah. Well, hopefully. Yeah. I'll say we actually did drop the the uh, IG thing. <laughs> <laughs> hasn't maybe, come up again maybe. Yet. I think well, we'll go we'll back, get back to Navarro to we'll and, definitely. and it'll be fixed. Oh, yeah. oh we'll, good. You can we'll put him in the... Fix it or whatever. They found the part. They found it. They had one spare.
Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, they can put the um, in this car. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't have a cargo space. See, this is the thing. Andor was like, this is a new show. It's about this guy, and it's going to be about other people that he moves through in his life, and we're going to follow them past when he visits them. And it's like, okay, cool. This show is like, lol, 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 clowns, lol, 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 lol. Oh, character. <laughs> and you're like, what, what, what is happening? What, what? Back to clowns. You're like, oh, hey. That no. What are you there were <laughs> enough clowns. Why did you do that? Why are you doing this to me? As if I didn't hate you enough. Because that's the thing, I didn't really hate Mad though. I just thought it was really dumb. But now I'm like kind of annoyed. What's going yeah. on? Why are you doing this? And then meanwhile, I have to watch everyone else say it's shit because it's really boring. It has no, uh... you know, purpose. Which, there's validity to some of it, but like, I really... I can't relate on the boring thing. I just no, can't. really can't. I found it interesting. Not as interesting as Andor, but still more, way more interesting than uh, what we typically see in this show. Oh, oh yeah, easily. Interesting. What if what if Mando just becomes an anthology series, but it's always bookended <laughs> by like a random <laughs> stupid? <laughs> <random action. laughs> I'll take it. I'll, I'll take, take it. it. I'll, I'll take it. it. Yeah, if that's the only way that we get it, it's literally fine. like someone on stage just pouring their heart out about their their life under the Empire. Then they get moved off stage, and then Mando comes out with, on a unicycle going. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> I was like, yay, Mando! Woo! This, this, the thing. Is, the this is the way. Yeah! They really refine the format. Mando like gets a house, but it's like in a dangerous part of like some city. And every episode it starts with like some guy being like, Hey Mando, I've got a problem with you because I, I don't like Mandalorians or whatever. And then the guy like tries to beat him up and then Mando mm -hmm. has like a quick action scene with him. And then it we cut cuts to, to the, the new character, yeah. Yeah. Cut to uh cut to like a decommissioned battle droid and Doing everyone like recognizes what it is and it like has to um like deal with its life where everyone's like hey i know what you are you're one of them battle droids <laughs> and he's like i'm actually trying to forge my own identity out here can we like not have this like whole uh preconceived notions thing and then like this, it explores how he does with that mm -hmm. and then it cuts back to mando who's now defeated the opponent <laughs> and then <laughs> and then another knock is on his door and he's like oh no i wonder who that will be tune in next week to find out this sounds like a fucking actual like parody series though but like some i don't know what the fuck's going on anymore disney what are you doing what are you doing with star wars can you decide because it almost feels like this is inspired by andor it does feel like that, yeah. Maybe the writer was. Maybe the writer saw Andor, and then he was like, man, that's Wait, cool. Wait, I can make stories with characters. Am I allowed that, to do that's this? That's allowed now. John, I'm, am I allowed to do is this? That okay? And Favreau was like, well, it's whatever. It, it's actually a story about himself working for Disney. He used to remember <laughs> the old times, and now <laughs> he just wants to go back to what he likes, writing stories, but new Disney's like, no, it's not allowed. You have to do your thing. You have to archive these CGI so, frames or something. What I've heard is we're back to normal length episode next week, like a 30 to 40 minute one. And uh, like I saw it advertised with Bo Katan and Mando both with the pistols out, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm sure it'll be uh, great." Yeah, okay, <laughs> I'm sure they'll well. be like, "Mando, I must get revenge for the blowing up yeah. my thing." But in order to fix my current ship that took damage during the fight, I'll need a Kugligo, and that's totally founded. Blah blah blah, and then, and so on and so on. My interest level has never plummeted this much based on a timestamp before. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. Well, oh, that's my Mandalorian goodness. season three, episode three. What a crazy, weird adventure we're on right now. Who knows what happens what? next yeah. week? I sure. guess we'll find out. Doodle pip. Here we yep. go. See you later, everybody. Bye, See boy. Glumpers. What you bring me? 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 What you bring me?